Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jabs, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here is Bruce Ladies Buffer. and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 220 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, the Executioner. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, good thing you're losing the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Oh, head kick. 
kick blocked though by Lee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Right hand punch for the clinch. Nice kick. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by me. <laughs> Try to establish that jab. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just over three minutes to go. Didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Can't take many of those, you better check. Kick to the body by Lee. It's okay, keep going. I mean, he's cutting it down. Leg kick. What a punch. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. And both guys really throwing with authority. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, being active, keeping busy, doing great work. Good punch land. to that left kick once again. Beautiful kick. Nice one-two there. And with authority, goes for the judo throw right into side control. He's inside control, he's got a ton of options. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Back to the feet now. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times in the face. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the U.S. Soccer. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Shut your body off. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's side. Beat his leg up. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Ooh. Look at him whip his 
hip into that kick. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relatives. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Punch over the top. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Went for the inside leg kick. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Well, missed on that one. But tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Leg kick. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Stewart. Big kick. Yeah, he's hurt. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left. Just misses there with the left. Good punch. He blocks the punch. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Now goes in and secures the takedown. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, his right eye keeps taking damage, looking pretty swollen now. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blossed, though, by Lee. Nice kick. All right, stack guard here. The feet are on the hips. What are you trying to do if you're in top position? Oh, man, you're attacking those feet right away because you understand that the guy with the feet on the hips, all he has to do is just extend the play. Right. He's a grown man that's pushing you off as you're trying to build into him. Attack the feet with your hands, head and chest back, lead with your hips, pass the feet, try to get knee forward, try to get the side strength. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy. Oh, huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stay up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. He's done! He's done! Back to the feet! Seconds winding down in round two. Ten minutes in the books. All right, let's now look back at some of the actions from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice.
Third round ball. underway. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Big performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at the force behind that leg kick. That's pretty significant well to the left side. Oh, big head kick. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Trying to kick the leg out. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there. Right there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad on his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. That shot blocked by Lee. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, You've man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Nice leg kick. Back and forth we go here. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Straight right, he misses. Lee's shot is blocked. Big leg kick lands. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into his strike. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice punch, Lance. Checks the leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Way to hide that leg kick. Fighter lands in me and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit tall. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, that left thigh now really starting to swell. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Gets caught with that punch. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent and tried to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Final seconds of round three. Nice spinning attack to the body lands for him. That's three 
Rocks in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked okay, about his powerful kicks, how he attacks Let's all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. Tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He's just out of range with that uppercut. was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, single collar timeout. And they separate. Oh, big head kick land. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, straight right. Ooh, blocks the shot. Keep your up. Let's go. <laughs> Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And he landed the right hand there. lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job. Oh, what a shot to the body. He's trying to keep it the poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Big kick land. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round number four. Right up the elbow, the body kick land. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Nice straight punch. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Oh, a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big punch land. Ooh. And they separate. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one, two there by Lee. Able to work it into a takedown there. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Big kick land. Ooh, Ooh. Yeah. Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Here's the kick blocked by Lee. Real sneaky body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, big punch land. Liver kick. Leg kick. Big knee to the body. 
Big kick lands. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Twenty seconds left. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing him that type of intensity. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. at this fifth and final round. Effective strike there by Lee. Oh, nicely done to block the strike and counter with the jab. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Just misses with a left hook there. Beautiful punch. And that left hook landed on the button. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Big, big oh, kick, kick leg. Big kick rounds his opponent, trying to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Just out of range with that left hook. Big head kick land. Lee's shot is blocked. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Big body kick. What a punch. All right, so the strike lands, but my my children hit hard. <laughs> well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Visibly limping here. Both fighters throwing heat now. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice leg kick land. Look at the turtles in that kick. Looking to land the leg kick now. Accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep. Yeah. Huge connection there, DC. He massive, is massive good land, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Drifts on the straight right hand. Oh, Thunder is like kick rounds. His opponent tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the reflection of this. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg. 
leg kick. Able to check the high kick. That's a big strike right there. It's such a fast leg kick. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Because the fight is cooked. Yeah, he's done. He's thrown everything with it with absolute power. And now it does not matter how many times you jam on that X button, it will not do any damage. Oh! Oh! Fates upstairs and lands crushed. If they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That will land perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. 15 seconds to go. By that one big leg kick. That was a nice strike. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 49-46, 48-47, and 48-47. For the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly Pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing or on the ground. This is his fight. He won this fight, and he won it in dominant fashion.